Thanks for clicking on us here on YouTube. This is the Fox 26 Tropical Update. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Glad you found us. Hope you're checking daily. If you aren't, just a quick reminder, we update this tropical update every day, even on the weekends. Whether it's super active or super slow, we'll be here with the tropical update a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you're not in the Houston area, Glad you're checking in on us. We'll cover the whole Atlantic and of course we touch on the Pacific basins as well. well. I'm spending a little less time on the Pacific today. We've been talking about Bonnie for a very long time. I thought we would just kind of let Bonnie do its thing and we would maybe just talk a little bit about more about what's happening over in the Atlantic side of things. And to begin with, we've been looking forward to Colorado State University's July update to their outlook. If you'll remember, Colorado State University, Dr. Phil Klotzbach, and all his group up there. Uh, big time forecasters on that long range. Very well respected, very well known. Probably the most well known seasonal forecast that's out there that's not produced by NOAA. Again, Colorado State University, they do one at the beginning of the season and or even really before the season starts and then they release another one uh, in July and they'll have another update later. So this is brand new coming in July 7th. Their update now is 20 named storms, 10 of those becoming hurricanes, and five of those becoming major hurricanes. Comparing that to what they had previously said before the season started, uh, they basically added a number on to everything. So they did have 19, 9, and 4. Again, the current forecast would be 20, 10, and 5. And we've already had three named storms. So basically, they're looking for another 17 named storms from this point to the end of the season. And again, that's going to be a very active time period as these things continue to kind of roll on through a little bit. We haven't had any hurricanes yet in the Atlantic. Uh, we did have Bonnie, which started in the Atlantic and ended up over in the Pacific, then became a hurricane. So it'll only be put down as a tropical storm as far as what has happened in the Atlantic. So again, just to kind of compare that to what our seasonal average and anytime the National Weather Service is referring to seasonal averages, they're looking at the last 30 years. So from 1991 to 2020, we saw on average each year 14 named storms, seven of those hurricanes, three of those major hurricanes. So we're definitely looking above average. So even what we're expecting for the rest of the year with the 17 more named storms, that's even above what a normal season would we would expect to find overall. Colorado State University, Dr. Phil Klotzbach pointing to a couple different reasons on why we're expecting to even be more active than what they thought at the beginning. Primarily that's going to be because of the La Nina is going to continue to hold strong. That's kind of when we've got those cooler temperatures uh, over in the Pacific and that really impacts all of the Atlantic and some of those waves. Primarily that's impacting those upper level winds, keeping those a little bit lighter to where that formation can be a little bit easier happening. But the other thing they definitely point to is the fact that our sea surface temperatures are very warm and we've We've been noticing this all along this season. This is no surprise to anybody how warm the Gulf waters are, and this extends out into the Atlantic and down in the Caribbean as well. But again, just sort of looking at some of our buoys and what they are reading, uh, we've got upper 80s already as a water temperature across much of the, the Gulf of Mexico. So our concerns are that if something were to form, it gets out here. This is kind of like where we have our drought and our our, uh, our our burn bans that have been issued for much of the state of Texas because of the drought and how if a spark were to happen, how that fire could explode quite quickly and it would become a danger more so than if we didn't we had had so much rains. That's kind of what happens in the Gulf waters. If something forms, it's just so much easier for it to grow so much stronger because this warm water is sort of the fuel that really drives those storms to that stronger develop and that intensity to grow. So that's the two things. The La Nina holding steady that helps that impacts the upper level winds in the Atlantic and then also those warm sea surface temperatures uh, making a big difference, a big uh, deal as far as if something were to form. So I will talk about Bonnie just real briefly to bring you update. It is currently a category one hurricane and expected to stay so for a little bit longer, but it is beginning to get a little bit further out of the picture where it's going to be a less a concern for folks. But Bonnie currently category one hurricane over the Atlantic. 
quiet. We still love to see that no new tropical cyclones expected over the next five days. That's what we're hearing from the National Hurricane Center. And part of that having to do, I think, with the fact that um, we've had uh, some uh, some Saharan dust uh, earlier on in the season, and we're kind of setting ourselves up for another strong batch of that. So just coming off of the coast of Africa now, you can see our forecasted uh, where we see this a plume of dust, and it's going to continue to move across the Atlantic. And right now we don't see as much formation in the Atlantic this time of the year, so not as concerned with where the dust is now. But when we get into next week, this is where we like to see it. This is where we really want the dust right now because the Caribbean and the Southern Gulf, that's kind of where we would expect to find some sort of tropical cyclones forming. So we like it when it gets here and we would like it to stay around there a little bit longer. That's for sure. So the Saharan dust again helping us and not seeing as much activity overall. Hey, I hope you've got a chance to follow me on social media. If you haven't, here's an official invitation. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I all use them a little different. So check out what you like, follow one, follow all. You can find me at John Dawson Fox 26. And as I mentioned earlier, we're back here tomorrow, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time with our next, next update with our tropical Fox 26 tropical forecast.